Absolutely. Well, we've got a lot of stories we want to jump into today, and we're going to start off with some exciting chip news because Qualcomm is set to challenge Intel's dominance in the Windows laptop market with its upcoming Snapdragon X Elite SoC. This features a custom-designed ARM CPU core they're calling Orion, and it has 12 CPU cores embedded in it. The chip promises significant performance improvements, including things like ray tracing, advanced AI processing, and several other enhancements. It's positioned to launch mid-2024, and it's going to compete with some of Intel's other offerings. But as we just found out, Intel, or Apple just released their new M3 chip series with a lot of these same features. And this is going to be a really interesting take when it comes to how the CPU market's going to line up. Stephen, what are your thoughts about this new Snapdragon? Well, it's uh, pretty awesome. Um, to echo my friends over at 6.5, uh, Pat Moorhead uh, was pretty impressed by this. He was at the, at the announcement. And, um, you know, I have to say I'm pretty impressed by it as well. Um, this is uh, quite the move forward for Qualcomm to be able to offer a processor that really, it, it, you know, this does everything Apple's M series does, except not from Apple. Now, that being said, it could be said that it's kind of from Apple because it was designed by the team behind the A-Series way back when. But really, this is, you know, Qualcomm deserves a big pat on the back for what they've done here with the Snapdragon X Elite. And frankly, I think that this processor is going to make some waves because, as you mentioned, this is not really intended to compete with Apple so much as it is intended to compete with Intel and AMD in the laptop and desktop market. Yes, that's right, desktop. And how about the server market? I could see this processor being used in things like edge servers and uh, thin servers and so on out there in the cloud. And also the fact that Qualcomm is able to deliver a processor on the ARM architecture that is just so solid overall. I mean, it's got PCIe 4. Um, it's got USB 4, which of course is, has, includes Thunderbolt. Um, this suggests that they could take this same basic architecture and really use it in other places. The other suggestion here, of course, is just another nail in that, um, I was going to say coffin, but it's not really a coffin, but it, it, you know, this shows that ARM is really right there with x86. Now, to that note, as we mentioned um, in the introduction here, Apple just announced their M3 series, which is honestly an incremental update over the M1 and M2. I think the message from M3 is that Apple is rejiggering a little bit what Pro and Max mean, um, you know, by basically moving the M3 down to the MacBook Pro, by having the M3 Pro be a little less Pro, and having the Max have a little space behind it in terms of being the real pro processor. Uh, but the Qualcomm Snapdragon here is really, um, on spec wise, looks an awful lot like that M3 Max. And again, this all shows that, um, you know, the ARM chips are right there, ready to compete with Intel x86 and AMD in the laptop and um, desktop market, just like Apple showed with their uh, Apple Silicon series. And just like we're hearing rumors that AMD and NVIDIA are about to introduce as well. This segment is really heating up. 